Hi guys, welcome to our CV series. Uh, in this series, we are talking about um, um, different ways to make your resume attractive, what to do with your CV. And in this particular episode, I would like to speak about um, joining an agency. When I arrived in the UK, the first thing I did was join an agency that was going to help me find a job. Um, so on that day, they gave, my husband had phoned and then they gave us an appointment time to go. And as you know, most of us in Africa usually know that when you hear of an agency, it's money. So that's what I thought was going to happen. But then we went in, we were welcomed by this very, very nice man. He took us in, gave us seats to sit, asked if we would like coffee or tea or whatever. But then um, he went and called someone else to come and talk to us, who was going to be my handler now for getting a job. And at no, no point whatsoever did they ask me for money. Their main point, their main focus was to get me a job. And from that one, I think um, from your hourly rate, there's a little cut that they get. Because that's what I think an agency does. They get you a job and then they get a little percentage of your salary. Which makes a lot of sense for someone who's just come in. Um, you you don't have money to pay someone. Like I know some of them would charge like hundreds of thousands. If you're an agency and you're watching this, I'm not meaning to um, damage your business. You, maybe you can explain to me how that works and why that is the case. Because um, again, as I'm telling my subscribers, I did not pay anything. So um, they sat down with me. They asked me what I've done before, which they found very, very impressive that I'd been to uni, that I'd done a job um in Mombasa, you know, like in a resort and I uh, had done, um, I had done music because they were just interested in highlighting my personality as a whole. And I'm going to share one of the videos that they recorded just to make my, um, case stronger as someone who's not from here. So, um, after this first meeting where they got to know me, they created a CV for me. They sent me uh, details of what I should put in my CV, send it to them, let them rectify and make it um, a bit more, they revamped it a bit, and then they sent it back to me for me to have a look at. Now, the reason they are very, very keen on getting you a job, again, like I say, they're a business, and what they get is that cut. That's what gives them, keeps them in business. So their main priority is to actually get you a job. So they're very happy when you join their agency. And some people can join up to three, four agencies. It doesn't matter. As long as the one that gets you the job knows that they're the ones and they're going to be doing their own agreement with the company. Now, every day, if not every other day, I was receiving um, jobs from the recruitment, from my handler now, from that recruitment agency. They would send me job, um, uh, yeah, job, not offers. <laughs> what do you call them? Yeah, jobs that I should see if I want to be included in because they would submit the CVs of the people who wanted to be included in included in that job. So there would be jobs for janitors, there would be jobs for admin, mostly part time, because they would uh, some some people um when they've got someone going on maternity leave, they don't want to employ someone new. They want to just bring in someone who will work for like three months and then go so or six months or whatever. Sometimes evenings, sometimes mornings, afternoons. For example, I work in the afternoons just now because I have two kids. So, um, yeah, the recruitment agency always sent me jobs and jobs and jobs that I would be like, yes, yeah, apply, yeah, I'm interested, this one, no, this one I'm interested. And that was just the, the vibe that we kept going until eventually I got a job. That's what they were doing, like just sending this, sending that. I'm not going to mention them because I'm not um, their, I'm not their marketer. If they wanted me to, I would, but um, it's been a long time since I spoke to them. And the, the lady who was handling me actually left the company, so I would have asked her first. Um, yeah, but I'm going to share a video that they did. So after lots and lots of 
jobs sent to me and i was saying yes i'm interested i'm interested but nothing was coming back no employer was picking me and it's just because i did not have the experience that was needed to maybe cover for someone for a few days um cover for a few weeks because i would i would have needed to be trained now they called me again and we did a video recording just so they can show that despite coming from kenya i could actually speak english because um I, w I, I can just imagine like as an employer you don't want to go too risky with who you're taking maybe to handle the calls and and all that and so we we did a video recording that i'm going to share just so you can see what they asked me what they were interested in and um i hope that helps encourage you with your um linkedin and in the next video i want us to speak about linkedin now and uh what you should do and how you should handle that and how it can help you get a job so i'll see you then and i hope my experience joining an agency has given you an idea of what is needed from you what an agency needs to do for you and basically what you can expect once you've arrived in the uk or in any other country abroad that um, has the same systems as here See you guys. Bye-bye.